Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome back to the world of the blues and curls. Uh, yeah, so in the last video on this uh, room and setup, we basically put all the shelves up, bolted in all of the brawl and cures, bolted in the mixing desk, this, that, and the other, and also put up a video, there's a link below, of a 25 minute jam session of just turning it up and just driving the drones. Drone driving. <laughs> This room is at the back of this museum is not obsolete it's intended to be used and booked out and stuff for people to use myself and other people uh, this last week we enlarged the organ room which is directly next to it so this is gonna be in a hybrid of the test equipments and slightly a little bit of a control room kind of vibe about this room so hopefully we'll have a bunch of balance wires and looms going off over to different parts of the museum the bit the back of this room is a bit of an un organized mess right now but over time it's all gonna get organized in between the organ and here is gonna be filled with loads of other automatic MIDI instruments and devices anyway right now as a stopgap uh, the Teletubby tidal wave is just set up on the ledge which is above the blower for the organ the organ blower is inside that box which acts as a pretty good sound isolator if I'm honest and it also acts as a cupboard for all of the other crap that you need to clean a museum and stuff like that but getting back to this room what have we done well down at the bottom there's these other things called Marconi test sets they're really pretty handy because they're just kind of like miniature versions of the Brawl and Cures they're just test sets like this they're quite useful if you want to add extra oscillators so I've plugged in one two three four five six extra oscillators which are you know there in case and they're pretty cool they've got some interesting features this is what they sound like dancing with each other So now with those connected, we have in theory 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 oscillators maybe that are in this setup. If you're feeling clinical, you can tune them all to a definite note and then play it like a chromatic key on the keyboard. But I personally like tuning by ear and then bouncing between an interesting chord. I think it's pretty nice. All right, let's keep on going. Oh, it's a unison. Right, let's get it. Perform the faders. <sighs> yes.
but that isn't all. On the front of the Brawl and Kia Type 1022s, they have a remote control input, and there's actually a control voltage input in that. It's a mini six pin bulging connector. Uh, I bought a bunch of the connectors and then soldered onto the back of it onto the pin that is designated to the control voltage input, which is, I can't remember the numbering scheme on these, but it's the pin on... I plonked a banana socket on it so it acts as a converter. You plonk that in and, and then you can plug a banana jack into it coming out of a sequencer or another test oscillator to plug it in and get some ring modulation effects and stuff like this. following video in a project we're going to be adding voltage control to this by adding some envelope generator banks and also voltage controlled amplifier banks I know big words but they'll be going over here I'm thinking a bank of like 8 to 10 voltage controlled amplifiers a bank of 8 to 10 envelope generators a bank of other malarkey and other malarkey but you'll notice at the bottom right here there is something else that has already been built Let's have a chat about that. Uh, well, at the beginning of last year, I put up a video about a project involving an SWTPC6809 computer. It's a computer I've had for a little while, and this was quite a long-winded, ongoing process of making it musical. With help with machine code and also repair of the SWTPC, it is now up and running. In the back of the SWTPC is the same card that was in that video, but I've built an output device that basically acts as a buffer so things can be plugged into it in between this and the test equipment or whatever else. So it's got eight trigger outputs and three control voltage outputs. It's not the most involved sequencer in the world, but it's a perfect place for this to sit. Oh, it's turning on, it's building up. Let's let the CRT heat up. And as you can see, yes, we are go. So we're gonna use it the same as in the uh, video on the SWTPC, set it and then go. And we're at the sequencer. Now, if we play the sequencer, you'll see the lights light up over on the uh, rack that's over here. So if we go for B, which is direct playback, channel four, we got, look, you can see flashing in the distance, triggers, the triggers coming out, and we'll jump to channel one. We'll play it like a keyboard. There's channel one, you can see it lighting up. Uh, channel two, you can see that lighting up. Channel three, you can see that lighting up. So it's all working, woo -hey. Now what we're going to do is we're going to plug the outputs, these ones right here, into the filters in the Brun Cure to get some filtered pinging sounds going on. Get the output of this right here. Unfortunately, I've set the filters right up high, right over here. So we'll go, um, we'll go input into the amplifier on this filter. And then the output of that filter going into the input of the mixer for now. It's a bit rickety, this filter. I need to do some work on this one. Um, so let's set a sequence going. As you can hear, you can hear. It's working. Um, let's go for tempo of 30 and then N4 to record. Well, that's quick. 
Actually, that's very quick. You can hear that there's a ping on the attack and the release. We're going to sort that out in the next video, but let's try and get a beat out of this anyway. Note to self, make longer banana jerks. Alright, so... Two going at the minute. Let's get another one going. Oh no, I want this one over here. Bit wonky, but it's some beats. <laughs> So I've got three filters pinging, we've got the bass drum, we've got a snare, or a tom, and we've got a hi-hat, clicky thing. So um, let's uh, clear channel 4, and we'll manually enter, oh no, look, how do you manually enter? Manually enter channel 4, so... See what happens there. What about uh, when I end play? Okay. And then we'll press N for record. Oh no. Oh shit. We'll press N for record on channel 4. Kick drum. Big secrets by this. It's over it. And then snare. And then the sub. Ring mod. That's that for this video. I know there's not a massive amount of progress with this. Uh, I was hoping to get a little bit further for this video, including adding the banks uh, of uh, module, utility modules. I think that'll make it really interesting, having VCAs and envelope generators. Basically turning this all into a big, oversized and practical modular synth. Included a bunch of more samples of the test equipment stuff, as well as everything else that's over on Patreon that you can download, and also the test equipment sample pack. So if you want any of that, then go and check it out over on Patreon because it helps support kind of making things like this and follow along for the rest of the updates in the organ room because the next thing we've got to do is midify that Compton organ that we spoke about last week so yeah that's what I'm going to be doing anyway have a lovely time I'm looking on my computer this is the Brule and Care Room of Doom and I'll see you soon Toodle -do.